हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम टू अवर वैल्यू एजुकेशन क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेसन नंबर थ्री मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स लेट एस रीड द मॉरल ऑफ द लेसन मेक लॉट्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स दे मेक यू हैप्पी चिल्ड्रन यू शुड बी फ्रेंडली टू अदर्स and you should make friends which will make you happy friends are made when one understands sharing giving caring and accepting now if some of them don't like each other we feel hatred but if we like each other then we make them as our friend make him or her as our friend now let us solve the question first your new neighbor comes to your house with his mother you have never met him before how will you behave with him share your things with him and be his friend don't allow him to use your things and be rude to him Which option is correct children? Yes. Option 1 is correct. Tick that. Okay children. Now children, let me tell you how will you make new friends? Making friends isn't easy. You wonder, will they like me? What do I do when I speak something silly? what do i do when i say anything wrong we all get nervous meeting new people but there are plenty of things you can do to make it easier like what first one is smile people seem most welcoming and feel much more friendly when they smile plus it is not hard to smile when someone smiles at you next compliment it's easy as noticing their cool sneakers backpack or even a song they like you you can also congratulate them on getting a good grade winning a race or helping another classmate it is a nice job children then invite them to do an activity with you it feels nice to be included and even to learn something new be open to new games and activities and you just might make a new friend to play see making new friends isn't so hard after all now let's see how to be a good friend first is share conversations by sharing conversations you all get chance to be good listeners and talkers be loyal good friend stands up for each other yummy treats or toys good friends share all good things they have be quick to say sorry when you do something to hurt your friends help your friends out when they are in need that's the best way to find true place in their heart use kind words spend time together share talk play and have lots of fun be a good listener talking about yourself is fun but letting your friends to talk is important to make them feel good when they are with you respect your differences love your friend for their special qualities remember to give back things that you borrow from them try not to argue When friends don't agree with you on something they have right 
to their ideas use thank you please and excuse me when you are with your friend remember to be a good friend to others now let us read the story children read the story to know how a pet dog makes friends with a new puppy title of this story is bruno's new friend now let us read the story children bruno was nakul's pet dog it had a dish for water it had a dish for food it also had a colorful ball to play with bruno loved all its things who is bruno bruno is nakul's pet dog it had a dish for water it had a dish for food and it had a colorful ball also to play with and bruno loved all its thing one day nakul got a little puppy home he named it snooker bruno was unhappy it didn't need a new friend now one day nakul means the owner of the pet dog bruno had brought a new dog at his home and he had named it snooker but Bruno was not happy because it did not need a new friend. Now let's read for the children. Nakul put Snooker down. It went near Bruno's dish and sniffed. Bruno growled at Snooker. Now what happened children? Nakul put Snooker down then Snooker went near Bruno's dish and sniffed. Sniffed means it smelled that dish. But Bruno growled at Snooker means he bark started bark barking at Snooker. Snooker was thirsty. It went to the other dish and licked some water. Bruno growled at it again. Snooker sat in a corner quietly. Now here children, Snooker was feeling thirsty and it licked some water from that dish. But Bruno again growled at Snooker and Snooker sat in the corner quietly. Let's for read further children. What happened next? After some time, Snooker started playing with Bruno's colorful ball. Bruno growled at it once again. Snooker started crying. It was very scared of Bruno and was shivering. Now, what had happened children? That Snooker, new pet, went to the colorful ball of Bruno. and was trying to play with that ball but bruno again growled at snooker then snooker started crying and was scared of bruno and it started shivering come to the next page children bruno felt very bad it went and touched snooker it was very soft bruno licked its ear and face the little puppy stopped crying it was happy now when snooker was crying bruno also felt very bad it went to snooker it bruno touched snooker and licked its ear and face after that little puppy snooker stopped crying and it was happy now when bruno touched snooker he felt that snooker was very soft bruno decided to be snooker's friend it allowed snooker to play with the ball 
Bruno also lets Snooker eat food and drink water from its dishes. Now, Bruno and Snooker had become friends of each other. Now, Bruno allowed Snooker to play with his ball and Bruno also let Snooker to eat food and drink water from its dishes. At night, Bruno went to sleep. Snooker went and slept on Bruno. It had a new friend. Bruno also had a new friend. Now, at night also, Bruno and Snooker slept together. Snooker had a new friend and Bruno also had a new friend. Now, here we have seen how two unknown animals are friends or become friends of each other. First, they behaved rude with each other. Then, they started sharing things with each other which helped them to be friends of each other. And this is how they be become good friends. Here we have come to the end of our session. Thank you.